She is known for her groundbreaking experimental work in animal behavior and motor theory development. She is recognized for being the first woman to be granted a PhD in psychology and the second woman to serve as president of the American Psychological Association. Her name is Margaret Floyd Washburn. In the realm of psychology, one name stands out as a trailblazer, Margaret Floyd Washburn. A prominent figure in the early 20th century, Washburn made significant contributions to the field through her pioneering work in animal behavior and motor theory development. Her impact on psychology and her groundbreaking achievements have left an indelible mark. Washburn's journey began with her pursuit of higher education. She became the first woman to be granted a PhD in psychology, a remarkable feat in a time when women faced numerous barriers in academia. Following in the footsteps of Mary Witten Calkins, she also became the second woman to serve as president of the American Psychological Association, a testament to her remarkable leadership and influence. Washburn's groundbreaking research and innovative ideas earned her recognition among her peers. In fact, a survey conducted in 2002 ranked her as the 88th most cited psychologist of the 20th century. Her work on animal behavior and motor theory development paved the way for future studies in these areas, shaping our understanding of human and animal cognition. Washburn's contributions have had a lasting impact on the field of psychology and continue to inspire new generations of researchers and scholars. Margaret's greatest scientific discovery and contribution to psychology was her influential textbook, The Animal Mind, a textbook of comparative psychology. Published in 1908, this groundbreaking book compiled research on experimental work in animal psychology. Margaret's extensive literature review resulted in a bibliography of 476 titles in the first edition, which eventually grew to 1683 titles by the fourth edition. The Animal Mind covered a wide range of mental activities, starting with the senses and perception, including hearing, vision, kinesthetic, and tactual sensation. However, the main focus of the book was animal behavior. Margaret emphasized understanding the animal mind as deduced from experimental evidence, which she believed would be a more accurate title. What set Margaret's work apart was the diversity of animal species she considered. While animal research at the time was mostly limited to rats, Margaret referenced over 100 species, including ants, bees, cats, chickens, dogs, frogs, monkeys, pigeons, spiders, and even the simplest of animals, the amoeba. In addition to her comprehensive research, Margaret's introductory chapters detailed methods of interpreting the results of animal research. She cautioned against attributing human-like meanings to animal behavior but disagreed with strict behaviorism's dismissal of consciousness. Margaret believed that animal consciousness was not qualitatively different from human mental life and suggested that animals possessed mental structures similar to humans. The animal mind went through several editions, with the fourth edition adding a chapter on emotions. While about 80% of the material from the first edition was retained in subsequent editions, earlier editions extensively covered anecdotal evidence. This textbook remained the standard in comparative psychology for nearly 25 years, solidifying Margaret Floyd Washburn's place as a pioneer in the field. Do you want to explore more scientists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.